This MindWaze tutorial is all about some power user tricks and tips, and really they're, you know, they're not so much power user in some ways. For example, this trick that I'll show in a minute is an idea of uh, just saving everyone time, basically. So let's say I've saved, save this file. It appears here. I've attached it to G3D, so it comes up, and now I can go look at the file. Great. So let's say I decide, okay, I want to have higher res, or higher res terrain types. So you'll notice that with Mineways, there's a bunch of these big files that come along with Mineways. If you go to those files, you'll look at those files. You can go pick one out. Let's pick out the modern HD one. And now if I export, and by exporting, I can just go Control X. I don't really have to type anything or pick anything. If I do Control X, that's a shortcut to just quickly export again. If I do that, note that it's taking some time to export because Modern HD is a very high-res set of files. It's a very high-res textures, which we'll see here. You can see there's a lot of details on these textures. And because of that, it's creating these very large output texture files. So that can take a little bit of time. Every time, you know, let's say you make one tiny little change. Well, now I have to export again, and oh gosh, I have to export all those files again? Well, that's no fun. So what you can do instead is just once you've exported it once, you now have those files. Those texture files really don't change much or at all between export to export. It can depend on like if you use some weird options, but in normal mode, you just export again, and you can load again, and it's all fine. The textures are there, they haven't really changed. Um, so these are untouched, and only the OBJ and the MTL file have been output whenever I make a change and make a, make a you know an output. Um, so that's one cool trick. Another thing that you can do is let's say I've shut down and I go, oh geez, you know, I didn't mean to shut down. Now I've got to start all again. I gotta, you know, set up my import, I gotta set up, you know, I gotta pick my world, blah, 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 blah. Well, what you can actually do is you go to import settings and you pick the OBJ file that you've exported before. And by doing that, it reads in everything about that OBJ file. <coughs> Excuse me. There's some stuff in the header there that has all the information about what you exported, what world, what, you know, what terrain, what, what terrain file, all that kind of stuff. In other words, that to use this, this high-res resource pack and all the rest. So all that's there. And what you can do instead is just do that import setting. What's even cooler is the fact that you can, uh, let's say, you know, okay, so you export and blah, blah, blah. That's all great. One other cool thing that you can do is, let's say I shut down and I'm like, you know what? I really always just want to go to one world and I really always want to, uh, you know, start up um, focused on where my player is in that world. And because my player may have just built something, I just want to jump to that spot. I don't want to do any of these commands. Well, what you can do actually is use scripting. So in scripts, what we do is, let's, uh, let's get the startup script. Um, scripts are basically files that you can just read in using import settings. But you can also do one other cool thing, which is to start up Mineways using a startup script. So let's say I type in here, it says, it gives you comments in this one on how to do this. I want to set up a world. And in this case, I want to always have this ruinable world be the one that I want to go to. And I also want to jump to player. So I want to jump to the player's location. So all I have to do is uncomment that line. So now I have this script. Okay, so what do I do with that script? What I can do is just say, I'm going to start from the command line. So you have to type in CMD down below. But basically, once you get a command prompt window up, you just go to where Mineways is, type Mineways scripting startup MW script. And you'll notice that, boom, you know, the world is up. And also, this happens to be where my player is located. And that's where I jump to. The other cool thing that you can do is, let's say I kill this window and start again. You can also say, well, you know, I really don't like starting in that small window that Mineways has. That's kind of an artifact of, I used, I made it that small because there used to be really low res screens back in the day. So I just wanted to be safe and have a nice small window. But you're feeling like, yeah, no, I, I'm fine. I want a bigger window. So what you can do is set your window and now 
you know, you've just started up with a larger window. And that's about it. You can also just make this into a bat file. You just put this into, let's say, I, you know, I, I uh, go here and give me a new file. I put this in a file. I save as, and uh, let's say I'll put it up top. And I'll call it my mine ways. Not that. All right. So now if I type in my, do some autocomplete, I should get, and indeed I do, I get mine ways starts up. It does exactly what I've written in here. It's basically said I want to do the scripting, I want to make a window large, and so on. So there's lots of these scripting commands, and you can go find them on the uh, documentation, and you'll see a whole bunch of these things. There's a crazy number of things you can do. You can actually build models. You can do all kinds of you know interesting startup things and whatnot. Uh, so anyway, like so here's a model that got built, and yeah, have fun with it. I just wanted to make sure people knew about that feature, and that's about all I wanted to say.